Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder. Today I want to show you a plane that I really have fallen in love with and have always been kind of in love with before and that is the Thunderbolt Mark 1. Basically the Razorback British P47 and apparently the German Premium P47 also has changed to kind of a very similar variant. Also Razorback that is. And you all should know how much I love my German P47. So is this plane to be recommended? In my opinion, as a prop head, as somebody that loves the World War II era, yes, I recommend it. But there are, next to my own opinion, also basically um, objective facts that support this opinion. And I want to talk you through here in this gameplay, which is not the very best, but the result will be. And this is then basically what it comes to. The end comes right, or the magic comes right at the end of when we look at the post-battle results. So, Thunderbolt Mark 1. What are we talking about? We're talking about a plane that is more or less the opposite of the early Spitfires. That is the opposite of what you kind of get the flavor in on average with the British Tech Tree. Um, to a certain degree it is similar most likely to the Typhoon Mark 1B in its playstyle. It is a fast plane, it doesn't climb particularly well, but it has good energy retention and devastating armament. Here we're talking about 8 12.7mm M2 Browning aka 50 cals with 3400 rounds of ammunition mounted in the wings. And they are excellent anti-bomber and especially anti-fighter weapons because of the high muscle velocity, the high chance of setting fire, the sheer amount of ammunition that you throw at the enemy in deflection shots, in head-ons, etc etc and also they allow you to ground strike and uh, let's talk about the ground strike capability as well because you have unlike with the german p47 um the options of carrying bomb the best bomb load are two 1000 pound bombs and one single 500 pound bomb you also have the option of carrying rockets in this case uh, 6 M8 rockets with 24 millimeters of penetration and a single 500 pound bomb. So there is kind of the American flavor in the weapons loadout, but it's not the sheer magnitude of that, that you get with like American P47s, which are obviously the original ones and still to be highly recommended. Also, it doesn't really dilute the gameplay experience. And this is then where, you know, you're still tied mostly to the Americans. And even if you fight the Americans on Hokkaido, well, <laughs> you are in a P47, they are in a P47 etc etc so it's it's not really like an entire new tech tree that is made of of copy paste planes this is um something that i also recommend as a premium why because first of all if you are only going for british aircraft this gives you a little bit of diversity there are not that many british aircraft especially fighters that have 50 cals so this gives you an impression of what you can see or what you can experience in the American tech tree if you play so far only British or you want to play the British. And what are the income modifiers? Well, they are actually not bad. The RP goes by 1.48, that's decent. And then you have the civil line modifier of 2.7 times 2.0. That is the joint highest in the game, as far as I'm aware. And this thing, at this battle rating is probably some of the best civil line makers that there is. And in this particular battle, I want to show you a more or less average game. Um, it's a bit more, it's it's a bit higher than with uh, what a lot of other people do. But for me, as an experienced player, I'm speaking here. So uh, don't think that this is cocky. But you know, if I show you a six seven kill game, then you know it kind of would not really represent what the aircraft on average could do and you know you have to learn with this aircraft you have to know what you're doing it's not a dogfighter you have to climb you have to stick kind of with your team and then be a second line fighter you have to be opportunistic go off the bombers and another thing that i want to show you is just the um kind of forgivingness of the 50 cals nature so because you can spray a little bit then the enemies catch fire and then they'll burn or you do a pilot snipe or you do 
so off the wing with uh, a few hits. 50 cals are strong. And even in a patch where they are not that strong, they are still decent. So here I also roll out of the way, even though I didn't kill him. Me surviving is more important and also diving away from this G6. Those situations will happen. And this plane just handles beautifully at higher speeds. And it doesn't have this weird rudder lockup. And that allows you to get those pilot snipes in, in reversing enemy planes, even though they are supposedly better. This plane just is really nice. It has great handling and you just have to learn how to do. P-47s are awesome. They always have been and in my opinion they always will be. Yes, I am obviously biased here in my opinion, but again I think that they are really smooth to fly and they are doing just their job. One of the big downsides of a British P-47 is that it is still tied to the allied teams and very often they just spam um, huge amounts of bombers and attackers which just make it easier for the enemy team to win air superiority. In this battle this was not the case and I just want to show you how the German team misplaying heavily here, by the way that was a stolen kill, kind of screw it up, how the German team screws it up. They fielded more bombers, they actually didn't stay at altitude, they didn't stay um, together, they went into head-ons and just did not a great job at flying. And so it's down to the pilot and so you can get so much performance out of the P-47 there. No allied bomber, not, uh, well only the Wyvern had uh, some bombs with it but you know that's to be expected so this is an excellent premium that is really smooth to fly it teaches you a great lesson about how to fly certain boom and zoom typers air security fighters um, in, in that role you know and it gives you a huge versatility you can also use it in RRB and here this is a bit of a foolish move I should have gotten out of the fight a bit different and just dodged much earlier but I was greedy and I had to pay the bill for it Thankfully, this is a premium, so it's not that expensive. And you know, this was me making a mistake and still getting three kills. I love P-47s. Huge civil line income, huge versatility, smooth to fly. I have no idea what I else should mention. Maybe the German P-47 is a bit better because it denies you um, the sweet fold of ground pounding all the time and it teaches you more how to fly with a very excellent team but this is just when you play the british tech tree when you're looking for some diversity when you're sick and tired of you know his sparkles and upgrading them with every single plane you still kind of have to do this with the tech tree ones but that is what the plane itself delivers and I, I'm just in love with it. This is what makes War Thunder so good. This is what makes War Thunder so strong. So what you're about to see in the post battle results is I have a premium account. This is a premium plane with the maximum civil line modifier and I had a 200% civil line booster. Let's just have a quick look what I get for one kill assist, two unimportant ground targets and three player kills in what I think is a not so outstanding battle. Look at this, 230,000 civil lines and still 13,220 modification research points, which would be significantly higher if I would research something without an RP pen uh, penalty, penalty, sorry, that's how you pronounce it. So I absolutely love to play at this bat rating. I absolutely love P-47s and I highly recommend it. And I just felt like doing this video before we go into the depths of high tier madness. Having said this, that's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I love to play this plane. And give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the plane, allied teams. And then at the end we will see each other on the waves, on the battlefields and in the skies of War Thunder.